Grandpa Tom talks about the different parts inside of us that might be concerned about the coronavirus. Hi, I'm Tom Holmes, and um, I wanted to make a little video for my grandkids, and I wanted to talk today about some of the feelings we're having because of all of this coronavirus stuff that's going on. Coronavirus? What do you mean? What do you mean, Grandpa? Coronavirus? Oh, oh, did you wash your hands? Did you wash your hands? Did you wash your hands? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Oh, oh, okay, I want to introduce you to one of my parts. This guy's name is Fear. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, and he has a very important job for me. He warns me when there's danger around. There's danger, Grandpa. There's danger, Grandpa. Um, but he can get a little bit overexcited. Oh, me? Overexcited? Never, 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 never. Um, uh, it, I know it does happen, and the thing is, you have an important job, and your job is, of course, to warn me if something's wrong or dangerous or scary. And I, I hear you on this. And yes, I have washed my hands, and I'm not going out to places where there are lots of people. That's a really good thing, Grandpa. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Um, but, you know, you can do your job better about giving me warnings if you don't get so excited and in a panic. Oh, who's in a panic? Who's in a panic? Well, uh, I think you, he's in a panic, isn't he? A little bit, a little bit in a panic. But what I like to do when I'm getting a little scared and when you've kind of got me all scared, I take some deep breaths. In and out. A few. Oh, are you feeling better now? Oh, I'm feeling much better, Grandpa. I'm much more calm. But you're not going to forget what I say, right? No, I won't forget what you say, but if we can do it in a calm way, then we don't scare other people as well, like the kids out there we don't scare. We don't want to scare them. No, but I want them to be worried about stuff that they have to be worried about. Okay, but I think they've got your message, right? Have you got his message? I think you have. So now I just want you to take a few more breaths. Oh, Grandpa, I love you. Yeah, I love you too, Fear. And you just need to not work too hard. And I think now you can go take a rest. So I'm going to put you back in your little basket here. So um, we have a lot of different parts of ourselves. And they all have different jobs for us. And it's important that we notice when these parts come up so that we can take care of them better. And I'm hearing another part right now coming up. Yeah. Grandpa! Grandpa! Yeah, oh, there's sadness. Sadness is really, what's wrong, sadness? Well, I miss all my friends. I haven't been able to see the friends at school and other places and in the playground, and I'm just getting a little sad. Yeah, I know, I know, sadness. It's a bit of a hard time when you can't be out with your friends and do the things that you like to do. Yeah, that's right. And so, um, sadness has an important job, too. Oh, well, what's my job, Grandpa? Well, I think your job is to let me know when things are not right. Yeah, and I don't feel right right now. That's right. They're very different right now. Uh, and I respect your sadness right now, and I feel sad, too, because I'm missing a lot of the people that I like to be with, and I can't be with them in the same way that I normally would. Uh, I notice another part coming in. I wonder who it might be. Oh, well, hi there, Sadness. Why don't you just go away? Um, hi, Joy. Um, you might remember Joy. She was a pretty important character in the movie Inside Out. I sure am important. We have to be happy. We have to be happy. Um, Joy, did you forget the lesson of that movie? Uh, what was that? Well, you know, um, you tried to get rid of sadness, and that caused a lot of problems. Yeah, it sure did. Um, remember at the end that you and sadness were able to take the control panel together? And then what happened? That's right. You could tell your parents that you were sad. And then everybody could be sad together. 
And then you could figure out how to get through the difficult situation. And that's kind of what we need now. So we need to make sure that sadness isn't pushed away. So sadness can be right here with us, and you can be with sadness too. Okay, Grandpa, I get it, I get it, I get it, I forgot. I sometimes learn things and then I forget them. Yeah, I do the same thing. Um, so if you guys work together as a team, that will be a lot better. So now we already have quite a few of my parts. We have sadness, we have joy, and sleeping over there is fear. Well, that's kind of a good thing he's sleeping. Yeah, I know, but we need him too, you know, because he has to give us warnings when there's warnings. And uh, maybe we should introduce some of the other parts. Okay, so I'm going to put you guys over here right now, down here. And let's see who else might be around. Okay, I bet you know who this is, right? Oh, you better know who I am, Grandpa. You better know who I am. All right, all right. I'm a pretty important guy. <coughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. You're angry, right? That's right, that's right. And, and what's your job? What's my job? I'm just angry, that's all. No, I don't think so, angry. I think you have a job for me. You give me energy when I need to protect myself from somebody who might be trying to hurt me or hurt the people that I love. And you need to know when... When sadness is sad and then you're angry because people aren't taking care of sadness, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I want to go out and play, man. I want to go out and play. I'm tired of sitting around this house. Yeah, I hear you, man. So um, you have a lot of energy, too. Yeah, I have energy. I have energy. I sure do. I sure do. I have energy. I have energy. Energy. And um, one of the things that Anchor does is give us energy. And I think maybe what would be a good thing is... Um, if we went outside with anger, what do you think? Should we go outside? I better check in with fear and see how he feels about that. Oh no, we can't go outside. We can't go outside. We can't go outside. There's there's coronavirus outside. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, there, the coronavirus is outside, but we know that if we stay at least six feet from people, we won't get it from them and they won't get it from us. So you can warn us if we start getting closer than six feet. I will do that, I will do that, I will do that. But otherwise, we can go out and maybe hike a little bit and get some exercise and run around. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Outside, exercise, run around, run around, run around, run around. But when we go outside, sometimes another part of us might come up, right? Oh, man, I just hate it when those dogs poop on the grass. It's disgusting, it's disgusting. Ugh. Yeah. So, um, this is my, one of my other parts. It gets kind of grossed out by dog poop. Gross, gross. Don't even say that word, Grandpa. Don't even say the word. It just makes me grossed out. Go grossed out. So, um, this is disgust, and she tells me when things are kind of yucky and gross, and you should avoid them. And, fortunately, disgust, the people in this area are very good at not letting their dogs poop everywhere. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. I'm happy to hear it. But if I see some poop, I'm getting our right out of there. Okay, okay. So we have a team, and with my team working all together, we can do a, a, they can each do their job. They can warn us about disgusting things. They can give us energy when we need energy to protect ourselves and to assert ourselves. They can let us know when we're feeling sad and lonely. And they can let us know when there's danger out there and we're scared. And they can also bring us joy and quiet and happiness. And then I think that Joy has a few ideas for us now. Okay, Joy, so what were some of those things that you wanted to remind me about? Uh, and maybe remind the kids out there about? <clears throat> well, I have a couple of things that if you do them, you will feel happier. Yeah, and you know, we don't have to feel happy, but it's nice to know how we can make ourselves feel happier, right? That's right, and if we remember to do that, <clears throat> it'll be better for everyone. Okay, so what's your idea? Well, you can think about what are you grateful for today? So what are you grateful for today? Like, I'm grateful that I'm together with my family and that we're
were taking care of each other. See, doesn't that make you feel better? So how about you guys? What are you grateful for today? What are you happy about? Oh, sadness has an idea too. Well, well, I would like to, to be in contact with someone else who's maybe feeling lonely. Okay, so that's a good idea. That's a really good idea, don't you think so, Joy? So if you contact someone else who might be lonely, both of you will be happier. Yeah, I would feel better. And I'll bet you're happy that other people would feel happy too. Yeah, that makes me feel better too. Okay, your job's getting easier, isn't it, Joy? Yep, if we remember to take care of each other and to think about those people who maybe are also lonely like we sometimes are. Joy, we have some other help in deciding what kinds of things that we can do. Oh uh, yeah, I, uh, I have an idea. Let's get outside, yeah, because if we get outside, we'll run around, we'll feel better. That is a very good idea, Anger. So we're going to um, make some time today to get outside and get some fresh air. Yeah, yeah, I will feel a lot better. Um, so... We are having good teamwork going now. Uh, oh, oh, when we started talking about going outside, there's another part that wants to be heard. Guess who that might be? Guess who that might be? Uh, if we're going to go outside, if we're going to go outside, everybody has to remember that after you touch things that other people could have touched, uh, that you have to wash your hands. So let's take some of that hand sanitizer with us. Um, very good idea. So we have to remember that if we're touching things that a lot of other people touched, we need to clean our hands afterwards, especially before what? Fear. Uh, before you put them in your eyes or mouth or face or anything like that. That's right. So we want to make sure that we go outside, get some fresh air, but also that we continue to be aware of the things that might be putting us a little more at risk of getting sick. Okay, so I think we have a good teamwork going here. Oh, Joy has another idea. Miss Joy has another idea. Well, I would like to know how can we create some beauty today? Something that's really, really lovely. Okay, I think that's a really good idea, Joy. So we think about where can we see beauty around us, like I'm looking at a beautiful tree right now, or um, that we just look in the, the beauty of the friends around us, or the, the beauty of, of um, something in our house. So that's one of the other ways that we can feel joy, is just to remember what's beautiful and what's beautiful around us. So I hope you remember to get along well with your inner team and all of your different parts. And um, so now, oh, you guys want to say, yeah, want to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, I'm on my way outside. <laughs> all right, and Sadness wants to say goodbye. Yeah, I enjoy talking with you because I feel not so lonely now. Thanks, Sadness, thanks, Sadness, for reminding us to be together with other people. And don't forget to wash your hands. Okay, fear, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Um, and thank you. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Be careful, be careful. Okay, I think they got that, I think they got that. And watch out for the dog poop. Okay, discuss, we, we've got that one too. Um, so, Joy, um, uh, let's just say goodbye to all of our friends from all of my parts, and hopefully maybe we'll talk again sometime. Bye-bye. You can find out more about the different parts of us and how they work in our book, Parts Work, which is an illustrated guide to our inner life. You can find it on Amazon. I hope this video was useful for you, and if it was, you could let me know at tomholmes42 at gmail.com. Thanks.